everyone. I thought of a cool way to try out your or challenge your slant and also to work on your transitions in your basic strokes. So you can choose any basic stroke you want. I chose the underturn, obviously. So I'll just move my paper down here. This is my Kelly Creates Grid Practice Pad. It's always a good idea to draw your X height. So I'll draw my X height at three squares high and then I'll grab my dream pen. I will use a small brush tip on it. I'll zoom in. And now we're going to uh, do the underturn. So I'm going to first do my natural underturn. So the first stroke you do, whatever basic stroke it is, we'll try two of them, but this is the underturn. We are going, I'm going to just draw my natural stroke like that. Okay, so I don't have a huge slant. But now what I'm going to do to actually work on this stroke, work on the transition and understand my slant is I'm going to draw one completely upright. So I'm follow following the lines of my grid paper being parallel to them. And this is very unnatural for me. What's interesting is some of you are going to find that this is your natural slant and this is awkward. So it, what, what's really good for this type of exercise is to push yourself out of your comfort zone and learn to control your brush pen at a different angle. It's actually, even though I, even though I encourage uh, everybody to, or beginners especially, to go with their natural slant, I think it's good to push yourself to try uh, a different slant and this will really make you zero in on your transitions rather than getting comfortable with your own slant and not working on any other style of lettering. After I finished that underturn, I actually decided to show you a couple other things with this technique, with this exercise. So here's my X height and we're going to do the same thing except this time we're going to do um, work with the sender strokes. So start out with your natural ascender stroke. And that's mine. It's on a little bit of a slant. Now I'm going to draw the ascender stroke again. This time I'm going to do it more upright. Now I switched to my line paper, so it is more challenging, um, but you can definitely use your grid paper so you can follow those lines. If you want to have more of a challenge, then use your line paper. So slant, upright slant and upright. You could do this exercise with every basic stroke you have. Let's do uh, the descender loop, slant, and then straight. Now when you'll see when you do this exercise you're really going to have to focus on that transition and that's what um, good technique is all about. That's what, when you're successful with your brush pen, is when you can draw uh, any kind of transition in any style. And last, let's try, let's try a couple of ovals. Now ovals actually are tricky. So you can, you know, if you know my coffee, I don't know if you know my coffee bean exercise. So you can definitely do this to help you out and then do an upstroke like this. I know some of you have this upright angle. I find it really challenging. So light upstroke, cut that oval in half, and now light upstroke. And this to me is really hard. Look at my spacing is way off there. Now, if you wanna take this uh, drill or technique or exercise a little bit one step further, you can draw, um, write some words. So it can be super simple words. Let's just do a basic high. So I'm going to do my natural, my natural slant. So it's not quite a, a 52 degree angle. It's a, a little bit more subtle than that. And now let me try to draw this upright and push myself to slow down and focus on those transitions at a different angle. Like this, like this. And you know what? It's all about um, controlling your brush pen. 
and learning how, okay, you might say, yeah, I'm never going to write like this, but by forcing yourself to change up your angle, and we can even go uh, have a left slant, which is really quite difficult for me, um, you will really learn how to control your brush pen, and that's what you want to be able to do at the end of the day. So pick up your... Um, practice paper and give this a try. I think you will be surprised at how it helps you focus on your technique. Thanks for watching.